Thank you well, I hope you're having a nice day. Um, I'd like to, if I may, just take a few moments to share with you a very special testimony about what happened to me back in uh, the end of 2017. Uh, basically, I had an encounter with Jesus Christ and he saved me from uh, certain death and uh, all kinds of nasty things like drug abuse and alcohol abuse, uh, depression and anxiety and, and all of that kind of nasty stuff. So uh, just to give a brief introduction to myself, my name is Dominic, I'm 38 years old, I'm from uh, Boston in Lincolnshire on the east coast of, uh, of England and uh, we're basically in Oxford today, just coming to preach the gospel and testify to everybody to give you a chance to, to hear our testimonies and to hear the gospel. So basically back in uh, 2017 I came to a place in my life where I literally hit rock bottom and um, I, I was suffering with so much depression, so much anxiety, I was using so many drugs, so much cocaine and, and ecstasy and, and, and all kinds of nasty stuff and basically it got to the point where I literally just could not carry on anymore. Now le leading up to uh, the point of where I went down on my knees and repented, in, to, in the end, towards the end of 2017, I, I started to research Jesus Christ, I felt led to research him. And so I was looking on YouTube, looking at people's testimonies, the people that have been healed from cancer, and diabetes, broken legs getting healed, people being saved miraculously from car accidents, uh, people being born again. Um, and, and all of these amazing testimonies I was watching. And, and the, more I, the more I researched and the more I looked into it, I, I, I started to think, well, maybe Jesus Christ can help me. So um, I came to the realization that I needed to repent for my sins. I've done enough research by now. I, I've come to understand the gospel a little bit. Um, so I decided one night to go down on my knees and give Jesus Christ a chance. So I went down on my knees, I repented for all my sins, and I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, if you truly are the Son of God, like people tell me you are, then show it to me. I said, if, if you love me, Lord, like people tell me you do, then, then show me, Lord. I said, Lord, I repent for all of my sins. Um, I said, if, if you forgive my sin, I will give my life to you. And I'm asking you, Lord, to come into my life and be Lord and Savior of my life. Now I repented for a good 30 to 40 minutes and um, I, I remember going to sleep around half past 10 that night and um, I remember waking up again around midnight and then immediately as I opened my eyes I was aware at the end of the bed there was a spiritual figure sitting. I was aware it was a male figure and that person he showed me an image of a little baby boy with a gold cross uh, around its neck, uh, a gold chain around its neck, sorry, and a gold cross on the end of the chain. As that image faded away from my mind, I was aware of that person standing up. I even felt the bed physically move next to my, my left foot. And I watched that person walk out of the room, literally just disappear. I fell back to sleep almost immediately. And then I remember waking up the next morning, and around, it was around 7 a.m., and immediately, as I opened my eyes for the first time in many, many years, I felt the feeling again in my heart of hope and peace Amen. And, and love. And I could see in my mind's eye, there was like a pathway out of the darkness. And something said to me on my heart, Dominic, last night your prayers was answered. And... Um, it was just, it was, it was incredible and, and of course with this having happened I was hungry for more because I could see a way out. Something came to me, somebody came to me. So uh, I carried on researching, I carried on praying, I kept repenting, I kept reading my Bible, I tried to build up a relationship with the Lord and it ended up that I met some people from the last reformation and uh, basically I was told through a full repentance I was baptized and born again and I gave my life to the Lord. I've been working with the Lord since then and uh, he truly has turned everything around in my life. So Hello. just to, as a small testimony, I'm completely drug free. I have no um, desire to use drugs at all anymore. That's all been taken out of me. Um, the depression is gone. I get no more of that black depression, that suicidal depression. That's all gone. Um, 
I'm so much more clearer. Uh, and of course, you know, when, when you give your life to, to, to God and you believe in the gospel, you receive the gift of eternal life with Jesus after this physical lifetime. So, um, yeah, I truly hope, ladies and gentlemen, that this testimony touches your heart. And um, if, if you want to come and talk to us at any point today, you're more than welcome. We'll be here. Um, if you'd like to receive prayer, or uh, you, want to, you want to understand the gospel properly, or um, talk about being born again, or anything that uh, may be on your mind, you're welcome to come and speak to us. And you'll be more than very welcome. Amen. Um, Praise the Lord. Now, also, what I'd just like to do briefly, if I may, is uh, just explain a little bit the gospel because I feel that in the mainstream society, very few people get a chance to, to hear the true gospel of Christ. You see, Jesus came to save the world. He did not come to condemn us that you've been taught by your religions or, or the television or the mainstream media. He came to save us. You see, the world is already condemned. The world is already going to condemnation. So, you know, when, when Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, sin came into the world. And also as well, when Lucifer fell with a third of the angels from heaven that they got cast down to earth, they, they caused havoc across this planet. So we're living in a world now full of sin, full of evil, and this society is infected with it. So Jesus is the way out of it. He is the only way. He is the way, the truth, the life. And, um, you know, it's important that we make a conscious decision to choose Jesus rather than this world, you know. Are, are we living in sin? Are we following his commandments? Are we just following this world aimlessly, being led, being led to, to certain destruction? Um, but you know, um, yeah, Jesus, he, he, you see, God sacrificed his son for us. He died on the cross as, as a sacrifice for all of our sins, all our iniquities, all our transgressions. Death was conquered, depression was conquered, anxi anxiety was de uh, conquered, drug abuse, all of it, all of this nasty stuff was, was destroyed on the cross, you know. This is real friends, if you want to come and see us, get in touch and we will, we will share the gospel with you, bless you all.